Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to do a special video. I want to do a comparison between Camus and Fanatec. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I filmed a whole video um, with a lot more stuff in there. This here is basically, I just want to show you the difference between the Camus rim And, uh, you know, like the paddle shifters on there, magnetic paddle shifters. Very, very nice. Let me set this, let me set this Fanatec rim down for just one second. Um, this quick release on the back of here. This thing is way, way better quality, in my opinion, than, than the, um, uh, uh, than the Fanatec. This here's one solid chunk. You know, I mean, it, it just feels good. You can see that it's got like a big, thick um, opening right there for for it to sit on that base, that, that wheelbase right there. Um, it's got a much bigger shaft. So it, and, and, and it's all, it's all metal. It's all freaking metal. Whereas, you know, there's, there's plastic and everything in the, in the Fanatec one. So let me show you. <clears throat> Let me show you the Fanatec now. The Fanatec one is, I mean, you can't hear these things right here. I mean, these are good paddle shifters. I mean, for the most part, like this, this Fanatec does feel pretty dang premium, but this, this, this Fanatec rim, this whole thing right here <clears throat> is literally half the cost of the whole Camus freaking setup. Half the cost, half the cost just for that rim alone so i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the video if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe man i will see you guys in the next one and uh let's get ready for this today i want to talk about direct drive wheels um basically i want to talk about the camus direct drive um wheel base the 21 with the gt1 um, wheel rim and the uh, Fanatec DD Pro with the uh, Club Sport Universal for Xbox uh, with the uh, R330 rim. So I've been, I got, I've, I finally got my my wheel rim for the Fanatec um, yesterday. So far, I'm $1,383 into the Fanatec experience, whereas Camus did provide the the Camus Direct Drive wheel base for 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 review uh i spent a month with that now i've spent a month with this i've actually gotten just two days now with the uh with the new three r330 rim which is um compatible size or a uh, comparable size to the wheel rim that i have with the camus dd so i want to i want to do this run on the fanatec and i kind of want to talk about the things that are extremely similar the things that are better on the Camus and then the things that are kind of better on the Fanatec. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Um, I'm not trying to beat any record or anything. I'm just wanting to drive. So when I, when I, when I originally got the Camus, the, uh, with that, with that wheel rim, I, I was instantly blown away with just how incredible that, that feeling was going from, uh, going from belt driven wheel uh to to direct drive and then having more than enough power with a 15 newton meter base to to be able to do whatever i wanted and then um <laughs> gran turismo decided to or playstation's vr2 came out and and i needed something that was compatible with with all three platforms pc playstation xbox uh, so, so I ended up choosing Fanatec and, and went with Fanatec over, over anything else just because I wanted that compatibility. I'll tell you right now that if, if, uh, if I would have been able to play that on the Camus, I, I, I would have never even considered buying this Fanatec, but now here I am with, with this, with this wheelbase. The, uh, the Fanatec, the DD Pro the eight newton meters that's the one i got i got the eight newton meter uh version of this the dd pro with the with the boost kit and um i'm gonna tell you right now that 
Oh man, like this this Fanatec is great. Like it like it is great. It does it does what it's supposed to do. It feels really good. It's really fun to use. Um, it is definitely it is definitely worth you know having having a direct drive wheel over over a belt driven wheel no matter what. But here's the thing, man. For that Camus to get the GT1 rim the freaking 15 newton meter base and the pedal set for the same price that i paid for this with just the boost kit um <laughs> and then having to pay another 442 dollars just for this wheel rim <clears throat> to get to and and that is to get a, a an inexperience comparable to what i was getting on the camus because with the with the gt um with the GT7 rim and and this uh, and this uh, wheelbase, yeah, man, I w it, it wasn't blowing me away like the Camus did. Now, now this experience with this bigger rim is a lot more a lot more comparable. Um, in some ways, the Cam uh, the the Fanatec does does feel better because it does have these it does have this more refined feel to to certain things. Like right now, I can't feel this cobblestone where i could on the camus you know what i mean like i could feel going over this this cobblestone on the camus and i can't feel it right now on the fanatec <laughs> that's interesting I, I i thought for sure i'd be able to feel this but i but i don't uh whereas i did feel that on on the camus and there was other feelings now now that i've had time to, to play around with this fanatec there was other feelings and stuff that i was feeling on the camus that I'm not feeling on the Fanatec. And then there's feelings that I'm feeling on the Fanatec that I wasn't feeling on the Camus. And I've heard a lot of people talk, you know, about like uh, uh, Fanatec being able to get rid of just noisy, fake, fake, uh, fake stuff. But uh, noisy, fake um, FFB and stuff like that of force feedback. But some of that stuff, like you would think that you'd want to feel driving on that, that cobblestone that I was just on. You would think that you would want to feel like some type of a like a like a like a bumping feeling, you know what I mean? Instead of it just being smooth like the tarmac that I'm driving on right now, you, you would you would think that. But then, but then when I'm on the Camus, you know, when I can feel that, or when I'm on the when I'm on um, when I'm actually on you know gravel roads and stuff with the Camus that feels that feels closer to what i would you would you would imagine it would feel like when you're when you're driving down um when you're when you're driving down a um, a gravel road with potholes and stuff you know you like you would feel that uh, especially with the the hard suspension that these these rally cars have so there's so there's 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 some major differences in in terms of feeling on both of them like the fanatec experience like this just feels so smooth that it's like really easy to uh sit down and just feel like like zen with it you know you're just like oh yeah that just that just if it, it, it feels good it feels it feels great you get enough force feedback and enough you know proper feeling while you're going while you're playing to where it makes the experience feel good like it's a feel good experience like whoa whoa this feels good where's the camus the camus direct drive wheel i i kid you not man that thing it it is smooth as well oh gosh i wasn't paying attention it is smooth as well but it also feels more rigid in terms of uh not not rigid but more more aggressive it it has a more aggressive feel to it <clears throat> and that's and that's even with me like setting it on you know like half power and stuff like running it at 50 percent power you know because running it at 100 percent power on 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 like this rally game it was it was just too much like it was uh moving my my whole freaking setup around and everything like it was it's powerful like there's a lot of a lot of kick to it um but with the camus it feels it feels more aggressive and uh, I'm I'm sure that I could get this uh, this Fanatec feeling more aggressive too, because there there is some extra settings on the Fanatec that you're just not going to get on the Camus. The uh, the Camus is pretty pretty not not cut and dry, but it does have enough settings in there to to give you an an overall like it, it it's pretty customizable. It's pretty customizable. But the one thing is is you're going to have to customize 
most of that stuff, <clears throat> like all the button placement, everything like that, you're going to have for every game you drive, you have to customize everything. You have to you have to pick your button layout, which which isn't bad. It uh <clears throat> by having to do that, it <clears throat> it uh it it really helped because I was like, yeah, man, this is this is actually pretty freaking sweet, you know, setting, you know, because if you're playing WRC generations or something, you've got, you know, your windshield wipers, you've got your headlights, stuff like that, that you can just, you can put on toggle switches on either side of the base or on the wheel itself, uh, <laughs> which is, oh man, I'm not even breaking, which is, which is pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. The, um, I, I love how the camus is laid out. I love the flat. Um, how it's how it's got a like a like a kind of a flat low profile center. It actually looked really good over here on my on my on my setup, and and I am I I am pretty I I am pretty uh I am pretty shocked you know that that uh, Gran Turismo Seven was so good that it literally gave me no other choice but to go out and buy a whole nother wheelbase. And I'm and I'm grateful that Camus sent that out to me because if it wouldn't have been for Camus, I would have never even I would have it would have been a long time before I would have went you know direct drive because I wasn't really looking to you know completely upgrade all of that. But man, I'm 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 glad I'm glad they sent me that thing. I'm glad that I that I had the opportunity and and I do I love it. I think it is I think it I think it does things that this one here just won't that just can't do. Uh, and and I think there's things that Camus does significantly better than than what I'm getting for the price that I paid for this Fanatec setup. The Camus is the better is is to me in my opinion is is a a pretty um I would say not what what's the word for it? It's a pretty um it's a pretty decent it's a it's it's a pretty good value and uh, a pretty good value for the cost and for everything that you get, like the pedal, the pedal set that comes with that. Um, you get like a load cell. You get the, um, you, you'll get, like they're 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 a pretty nice looking pedal set. They're supposed to be sending me the set for that as well, um, so I can so I can review that on the channel as well. But as of right now, they they uh doing some like some order stuff. You know, I gotta wait till the. Uh, Till the till the rep has enough, you know, till they have enough stock to send out to 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 streamers or whatever. But the the way that pedal set looks, like you get the you get the you get um the Hall effect sensors, you get the uh the the load cell and all of that stuff, all included in the in the amount for the Cam's Direct Drive wheel wheelbase, the GT1 rim, everything, and it and it's an incredible looking. Um, and it's, it's an incredible setup that is, uh, I, I feel like the, I feel like the, the design of that, you know, like the shaft, the wheel rim, it just, man, it just feels so smooth when you're rolling it around. Whereas like this one here just doesn't have that. This one feels a lot different. Like this one, now that I've gotten this rim for it, it, it is significantly better than it was. But it is to a point where, where like, um, I I don't know, man. I I kind of like, I kind of like the Camus a lot. Like I do like the Camus a lot. I like this Fanatec. Uh, I'm pretty torn, man. That's that's the 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 thing, man. I am pretty torn between these two setups. <laughs> it's 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 crazy. I never thought I would feel that way. I thought that. I, I thought that, yeah, man, I'm going to buy the Fanatec and I'm just going to be blown away. Like, this thing is nice. It's pretty premium, but it costs a premium, too. Whereas the Camus will 100% get the job done. I guess this is what this video is is, is meaning is, um, yeah, I I, uh, I think that I think that you would be more than happy with Camus Direct Drive Wheel if you're a PC gamer, if you're a PC racer. I think you'd be 100% set with that. But if you need, if you need compatibility with everything like i do man you your your best option that way that way is probably is probably fanatec because instead of buying a whole nother base and having to change everything out i just had to buy this wheel rim and this universal hub and then i can just buy whatever other rims i want and and put them on there whenever i want to so i think 
I think both of them are a good value on their own. I don't think either one of them is like significantly better than the other one. I feel like they offer and deliver the same, the same basic, uh, the same basic experience. You know, they're both direct drive. They both have, you know, a solid, good power base. The, uh, they, they both have, um, pros and cons when it comes to force feedback, overall force feedback feeling and stuff like that. But both of them are a pretty compelling experience when it comes to uh, when it, when it comes to like rally games. When it comes to playing like Seto Corsa Competizione, there's there's some extra feeling that you get on a Seto Corsa with this, um, as opposed to what you get with the Camus Direct Drive. The Camus Direct Drive just feels just feels smoother, whereas this here you get more of like a tactile sensation while while you're driving stuff like that, but not enough to where you'd be like, oh man, I missed that. Like, seriously. I mean, it, it like, the Fanatec is pretty cool. Like, it, it does things. But, man, that whole month that I spent with the Camus Direct Drive, I put a lot of hours on that Camus. A lot of hours. Like, well over, like, I, I would say closer to three, four hundred hours just in that time that I had with that Camus, you know, playing around and stuff on there. So I, so I got some good freaking hours out of that because right when I got that and I started playing, I was blown away and I was like, whoa, dude, I just want to, I just want to play it. Uh, so I feel like, I feel like my overall opinion on both of these, cause now I've had about a month with the Fanatec. I've spent, I've spent a lot of time on this. I, I haven't spent as much time on the Fanatec because I didn't really care much for that GT rim, but I, but I've got at least 30 hours, 40 hours, um, just in that first couple of weeks with that and then i've been playing it you know here and there every day when i get home from work stuff like that so i've i mean and weekends and stuff so i've got i've got maybe i've got maybe 40 50 hours on the fanatec so i've i've got enough hours on there to to like give you a general feeling of like what the what the uh, fanatec is doing either way either way you go honestly i feel like I feel like both of these are a good buy. I feel like both of them are pretty dang good buy. Uh, Fanatec is going to be more pricey, but you have a lot of options. When it comes to Fanatec, you have a lot of options. You have different rims, you have pedal sets, you have multiple things. Whereas with Camus, um, it's still relatively new. So you're going to have less less options. You, you're going to have to order, you know, um, from, from the Camus website. I don't know of anybody that's really carrying those. They they are bringing out an eight newton meter um, setup, just like you know an eight an eight newton meter to to challenge this. I think that one's going to be like five hundred bucks or something like that, four hundred bucks for for the whole setup. And then there's also another one that they're bringing out a five newton meter. They're supposed to be sending that one out to me. Um, and that one is more of like an all-in-one type thing. It looks pretty cool. Doesn't look like it's going to have a whole lot of upgrade ability, but for the price of that one, like 250 bucks, <laughs> that's an incredible deal. And so far with that Camus, as much, as many hours and as much time as I put on that thing over the, uh, <laughs> over the month that I was playing around with that thing. Yeah, it was like no problems with that thing at all nothing at all uh there I mean, I mean there were like some compatibility things like with certain games that that i tried to get that i that i was able to get worked out on most of them and stuff i was able to get them working uh was never able to get it working with forza 7 actually to tell you the truth i tried forza 7 on here today and it did the exact same thing the, the wheel just just going crazy so and that was on the xbox version so i didn't expect that to happen I was like, "Whoa, man, is that is that for real? That's really happening." So I don't I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, that wasn't that wasn't like a Camus or a or a Fanatec thing. That's obviously a game thing. So yeah, um, in my opinion, I think both of these are good platforms. I think Fanatec or Camus is a good platform. I really do like Camus. I, I do. I, I think that thing is incredible. It's uh, <laughs> it it really does punch well above its weight for for what it is and how new of a company. Or it's not that they're a new company. Like Camus has been around for a long time. They make uh they make go karts. They make a freaking actual electric race car. 
stuff like that but they they kind of was like yeah let's put our technology into you know building sim racing equipment and man if that then that's their first one out of the gate with that 15 newton meter uh wheelbase with all the with all the you know um with all the customizability that you can have with that and they are going to be bringing more rims and all kinds of stuff to, to that ecosystem as well but theirs is like a their their uh their hub and their quick release far far better than what the this uh this fanatec is far better way better way better quick release i think uh the the one that comes with this kit with the dd pro is plastic the one i had to buy with my with my new wheel and stuff they're they're charging a hundred bucks for that the camus one is like 39 dollars, and it's way better way way freaking better quality than than this thing and it's and it's stronger the shaft on the uh, camus is much bigger it's uh full metal where this one here is plastic so i mean you can uh you can look at the the in in terms of like um overall build quality i would say i would say for the most part they're probably pretty close i mean the camus looks like it's a lot more durable um this here's got a lot of plastic on it a lot of a lot of plastic uh, the Camus has bottom mounting and side mounting. This here has side mounting and bottom mounting. So I mean, either way you go, like I feel like I feel like you're pretty good, but I but I feel like you're gonna spend a, more of a premium price on the Fanatec for for a little bit for a little bit less quality of a build in terms of like materials and stuff like that. You're getting a lot of plastic in this thing, whereas that you're not. And like I said, I had zero problems with my Camus Direct Drive wheel. It works just fine. The only reason I'm not using it is because I needed compatibility with uh, Gran Turismo 7 in VR. So I had to get something that would work for that. And, and trust me, I tried. I got the Raz 1 Lucian 2 so that I could so that I could try to use it with Camus. They are working on it. They are working on supporting Camus. I've been in touch with Raz 1 Lucian. Uh, Brooke trying to get that to be a possibility uh, as soon as they reach back out to me or i'll reach back out to them soon as soon as that that happens i will be um using that camus again as well i will be you know going going back and forth with that i probably was i was thinking about hooking up the camus this weekend for uh for some pc racing so that i could uh have some have some fun with that again but yeah i mean it just it just depends on how my mood and how i'm feeling for the rest of the weekend it's been a pretty pretty rough rough week at work this weekend but yeah man i just i just wanted you guys to kind of know like the difference between the two because i'm still going to continue to represent camus as a brand um there's there's nothing that's going to change that like i i do like that that company and i would like to see that uh that solid competition out there in the market especially with their really 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 consumer friendly pricing um yeah you just can't beat the uh the quality and the value that you're getting for that camus but there are some caveats man there are most of the newer games that are going to be coming out are probably going to have a lot more support for it but when you start getting into the older games because of how old the camus uh, because of how new the camus is you are going to find some compatibility issues which is which is um gosh man it, it's like make or break for for some of these wheel sets out there you know but as as more as as more games come out and stuff you're going to have better you're going to have better um support for camus most of the games that i had to most of the games with camus though i had to set up as a um set it up as a generic wheel and for the most part it worked on all of them there's ways to get it working with uh forza horizon 5 there's there's ways to get it working with some some of that other stuff but i would like to see more native support from from developers for the camus though the one that had the best support is probably out of the games I have was uh, Seto Corsa Competizione and Seto Corsa. Those ones feel literally incredible on that thing. So, yeah, man, that's that's pretty much how how I'm feeling about this. I I like both of these brands. I think they're both good. I think what Camus brings to the table is more than competent for 
for somebody to to get into sim racing. But I do feel like you're gonna be if if you go Camus, you are gonna be uh, like you you have to you have to understand that it's PC only right now, and uh, in the future there might be ways to get around that or f um, have it work on consoles. But as it sits right now, that's PC only. Whereas your your Fanatec is is designed to uh, to be multi platform with the uh, with the right amount of money, <laughs> the right around the right amount of money you can get it working with everything. So that is I, I don't know why I always come to this track and do the long one, man, because then I have to <laughs> keep talking and talking and talking. But I don't know. There's there's uh I mean I can talk about like the uh, the overall. The overall experience on direct drive is is literally incredible my friends it is literally incredible it it takes it takes an experience that was you know i mean it's it, don't get me wrong guys like using using a, a belt drive wheel was 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 fine i mean it was like it would get the job done but this feels so much more refined when you're when you're driving around in on on the uh, on the direct drive because you're just you're feeling like actual like like actual force feedback is where it, and and it, and it feels just less noisy like that that um that um belt driven wheel stuff man that, that that feels pretty noisy compared to this like this is this is a really really smooth slash good feeling experience you know when you feel your tire you come up over a bump or a rock and like you can feel you can feel that in 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 the wheel and just like when you're sliding and stuff it's so much easier to like feel what the car is doing and and be able to to maneuver yourself better like it really does it really does help a lot and it feels incredibly fun I don't know if I'm going to finish this whole rally cuz there's still there's still a pretty good amount left to this. But I mean you I feel like on the direct drive you have much better much better control overall of the car. Like getting uh well, tell you freaking run off the side of the cliff. You have you have better control especially on like a straight line and stuff. At least for me anyways, man, I had a really hard time. Man, I had a really hard time with the belt drive wheels, guys. I, I, I did. I would struggle a lot. Um, I, It was getting to the point where I would have to be in a mood to want to deal with that and be frustrated. Whereas now, this just feels good all the time. Like, this is this is fun. Like, I, I don't have that same... I, I don't have that same frustration anymore that I was having with, with the... Uh, uh, with, with the belt driven wheel like the the uh the whole dd has really has has really changed sim racing for me and i mean i've i came from being like a a need for speed racer you know gran turismo forza whatever to to actually being like a to actually being more to feeling more like i could be a competitive you know like i could actually be competitive if I learned how to use my brake pedal better. <laughs> God. <laughs> Man. I you know, I love this freaking track, but it but it's so irritating sometimes when you're hitting those fences and stuff. I do love this track, but it's also very, very, very annoying sometimes when you get close to these stupid fences. I uh, that that frustrates me. Oh my gosh, man. And when you start messing up, you you start messing up. This this is probably like oh I don't know. And it's only it's only when I'm talking or trying to make a video. Normally I can do this stuff pretty pretty decent and stay focused and you know listen to my co-driver telling me where to go. But you know when I'm when I'm just sitting here driving, I'm you know just taking my time and having a good time and and, and bouncing around these corners and stuff. But for the most part, like. The uh, the overall experience that you get from direct drive is a lot better, and it it is definitely worth the investment. I I believe so. After after having these things, man, oh my gosh! It, I wish I would have known about this sooner. 
But that's the thing with sim racing, man. You don't know when you're first starting out. You just don't know what to get. And you don't know who to trust because there's so many people out there. A lot of them are loyal to brands. A lot, and you, you know what I mean? Like, you just have so much out there. And, and that's why I felt like, yeah, I mean, even if, even if, you know, I mean, like, obviously Camus is willing to send me, you know, products to, to show off on my channel. But I mean, <laughs> I'm, I was willing to, to, to put my money out there. If I'm going to represent, you know, Camus, I, I felt like it, it is, you know, I, I need to have the, I need to have the competitor. I, I need to have the competitor as well. You know, for, uh, Fanatec, and Fanatec is pretty much, you know, one of the brands that a lot of people recommend. So I felt, yeah, man, I will put my own money out there and I will test it out. And I've come to pretty much the same conclusion that a lot of people have. Fanatec is awesome. Fanatec is awesome. And then that makes me even happier to say that, like, Cam Camus is pretty dang good if this is if 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 fanatec is the standard camus is one heck of a competitor for these guys camus is one heck of a freaking one heck of a value because of what it can do and how good it is yes i i definitely have zero problems recommending camus um if you if you're on the pc so all right, man, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one, and thank you for watching.